Tonight, Norfolk school leaders decided to get real about sex education. Get real is the name of the school's new family life curriculum. A lot of families and residents spoke in Norfolk about it. News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer was there at the school board as they voted to adopt the new program. And Zach, a lot of strong opinions tonight. Yes, there was, Kurt. And this new Get Real curriculum would include new topics such as gender and sexual identity. Now, tonight, people were very vocal about this curriculum. Some were in favor and praised the program, while the vast majority that spoke tonight were critical against it. Get on the academics. Get off the sex. Many packed Wednesday's Norfolk School Board meeting to talk about a proposed family life education program. I have a question for you guys. Are you out of your mind? From 2021 to 2022, more than 400 middle and high school students attended the voluntary classes using the program known as Get Real. It has empowered them to deal with bullying, to deal with relationships, to deal with inappropriate sexual advances. Well, what happens if um, the curriculum is teaching things that I'm not ready to teach my you know, soon to be 10 year old. According to the district, families who took part in sessions had positive responses. New topics in the program include gender and sexual identity and understanding terms such as homosexuality, lesbianism, and masturbation. Recent survey results from parents showed mixed reactions over LGBT topics in the program. Wednesday night, many people voiced concerns over the new material, including parents and some who didn't even have students in the school district. The introduction of these sensitive topics in the classroom may inadvertently expose students to explicit content at an age when they may not be emotionally prepared to handle it. I believe that this curriculum is not age appropriate. And believe the focus should be put elsewhere in schools. Let's just get back to the basics. Let's talk about reading and math. Meanwhile, some parents and students were supportive of the program. It is comprehensive. It is medically accurate. It is trauma informed um, and it's inclusive. I do not hate anyone because of their gender identity or sexual identity. A six-year-old shot a teacher in their school, and we are worried about them hearing about the word sex or about hearing about the LGBT community. Now, Kurt, according to a presentation at a school board meeting earlier this month, families can opt out of all or specific lessons of this program. And MPS officials tell me this new curriculum will go into effect during the next school year. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.